It's 10 o'clock at Jungle Home in Penj and I'll have to call it a day because we have not one but two tiger safaris lined up for tomorrow. You see, tigers are very elusive animals. It's not going to be that easy to spot them. But I'm still going to keep my fingers crossed and hope to see them at least once. Time to make a wild escape. Wish me luck. Hey guys, we are in Nagpur, the city of oranges, which also happens to be the geographical center of India. As the tagline goes of the Mahindra adventure, get ready to get lost. We literally got lost in the city itself and from here we are going to start off our journey of 110 kilometers towards Penj. I am basically from Bangalore and uh, do a lot of traveling. We did about 1,150 kilometers, mm -hmm. so we drove down. What excited me is uh, driving, traveling, and photography. We are going to see tiger. 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 We are going to see out there who like to drive, who like to reach a nice destination, spot a tiger and a leopard or two, and uh, much more than that. We were very clear in concept that this is definitely for the people who are driving enthusiasts as well as who care for nature. Of course, when we come to wild escape, it's slightly different. Uh, less driving, uh, more adventure in the forests. As our guide said today that Jo tiger dekhta hai uska chehra gulab ki tarah khil jata hai. Saal saal khada, fir saal saal pada, fir bhi na sada. Wo hai saal. Ek to. And the bonding of the people who came together, they all believed in what they were doing together, and and they were friendly uh, within within us. And the best part is you don't feel new to anybody here. They, they treat you like family, so it's family out of family again. It's not very easy for a lot of personalities from diverse places and diverse profiles to kind of gel so effortlessly. <laughs> <laughs> We're not forcing them to buy a Mahindra vehicle, but they can experience a Mahindra vehicle. We typically believe that we do not want to go to places where typical tourists go. You know, we want to experience nature in its rawest form. We were allowed to drive our own vehicles in a particular uh, wildlife area. So you sitting behind uh, while taking a safari and you driving your own vehicle inside? True. So that makes a big difference. It was fun to not just drive but keep your eyes and ears open. It's interesting to see how is it that they are keeping a convoy of 20 jeeps together. Pulling off an event is not very difficult though, but to meet perfection calls for something and these guys do it. We would want to establish our vehicles as a platform to explore the unknown. Many of the participants at the Mahindra Wild Escape have come here with the expectation of spotting a tiger. There was a lot of anticipation, you know, there were these uh, uh, alert calls from the uh, monkeys. I pride myself uh, in saying that I take decent pictures, but when the tiger came out, uh, well, those were a few of the worst pictures I've ever taken in life. We just heard one growl, and that's it. I mean, that was the moment, and then we just saw, you know, from the bushes, we saw the face. The whole place was engulfed in silence, and this big thing walks in. Luckily, I guess I was really lucky that actually we spotted a leopard and one tigress. It was a new experience for me but it was absolutely worth it and, and I really had a very good time. This was probably the starting of a long association with Mahindra. 
I've come in a different vehicle and don't be surprised if I drive back in a Scorpio. <laughs> Cut ball, yeah. I'm going to edit it. 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 I'm going to edit it.